Hello, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I want to talk about some more uh, basically video game hardware setup stuff, especially for retro games. I've been doing a lot of this kind of stuff recently, but I figure if you guys can handle me saying that, you know, Anita Sarkeesian might not be that bad, that you're probably not going to unsub over, uh, you know, so, some of these kind of videos here. So, you know, another first world problem here is uh, the way that old systems look on new TVs. Um, they just don't look all that great. So here I've got Chip Chon Kick. And, sorry for the shaky cam, but let's just go ahead and get, get close to this here. So you can see, you know, we have this kind of problem where it's, you just sort of have all this, you can, you can sort of, you can really see the artifacting on things, you know. I mean, you can see, like, jaggies on the, the resolution, just sort of the pixels, you know, that that's fine. But things things look kind of artifacted, and they just don't look like they, they used to. You know, uh, on those those old CRT TVs. Okay, so this I don't know if this is going to work out so well, but just so you can see the setup in action. Um, here's the scanline generator right here. Um, here's the back of my AV, and uh, so I've just got the video coming out of the the main out from here, right into this. That's going into the scanline converter. Then it's VGA. Um, out of here, I've got the audio going into, uh, so it's down here, um, it's just a, a coupler, so we're just coupling that to um, a regular uh, stereo cable that's plugged into there, and then we've got the, uh, the VGA cable plugged into there. It's as simple as that, works like a charm. Okay, so here this is with that uh, kind of cheaper uh, VGA converter. And it's going through a scanline generator, and it's just a, a little dongle um, that I think was handmade. Uh, I bought it on eBay, so I'm sure that there's plans out there for for making one, and I probably could have, probably should have made my own. But this wasn't very expensive. I'll look up the price and I'll put it up there for you. But I'm pretty sure it was about 20 bucks. And this uh, this VGA converter, I'm pretty sure was also about 20 bucks. So we're talking maybe 50 bucks with shipping. Uh, and I have. See, even where we had that really jagged uh, lines there, you know, it just it softens the things up. Where we had it looked really artifacted here, now you have the nice lines. And, uh, definitely playing these retro systems, you you can just tell they just don't look the way that they used to when uh, when you used to play it on that old stuff. It just doesn't look right on the new systems. So this was a much more affordable way to get some scan lines uh, on your retro systems. I have everything running through my AV box, so this will work for all my systems. Uh, it really makes a difference with PS2. I've tried that out. PCFX uh, definitely looks cool. So uh, if you're looking for a cheaper, more affordable way than uh, that typical uh, upscaler and the it's like the something 3000, um, this is definitely something that I would recommend you give a try. Uh, I hope that was helpful, and thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.